All right, and it looks like we are live. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Daily Digital Show, where I keep you guys all well informed of what's going on in our digital world. My name is Junior, and today's date is Saturday, September the 10th. Uh, so today we have a couple of articles to talk about here today, uh, all great articles. The first one is about 3D printed glasses. So all those glasses wearers out there, you'll definitely want to tune in for this one. Next one is going to be about Dubai. Dubai is actually creating a new resort on top of all of those cool resorts that they have already um, and is going to be shaped like no other resort has ever been. The next one is going to be about what's going on in the MRI space for children, which actually has been going on for quite some time now. I'm just now learning about it. Again, once you start doing research and you start digging deep on what everybody has been doing in this world, you really kind of run into a lot of cool stuff. The next one is going to be for the VTubers. So if you don't know what VTubing is, please step back for a second because all the VTubers listen up. You will now be able to utilize your avatars in a cool, unique way. And the last one is going to be for all those natural hair beauty queens out there. Um, you're definitely going to want to tap into this because uh, if, especially if you're interested in crypto, uh, you're definitely going to want to see what type of magazine is coming out for you ladies. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break and then we will jump right back into it. All right, welcome back, everybody. Thank you very much for sticking in there with me. Um, so, as I mentioned, the first thing that I can have for you guys here today is about 3D printed glasses. And uh, if you're like me, well, me, I'm nearsighted, I want to say. I always forget which one is which, nearsighted versus farsighted. Um, but essentially, I have a hard time seeing far away things. Uh, they kind of get really blurry on me. Uh, but it always messes me up when... I go to fix my glasses. Um, let's say I've been running or something like that or sweating for whatever reason, and uh, they always fall down my face. Um, I have this, every time I get new glasses, uh, I have to get them like fixed and reframed or whatever. Uh, just because, you know, glasses aren't made for a one-stop, it's not made like a one-stop shop. Uh, you always have to get them resized or get them modified or whatever just to fit your needs. And the main thing that they usually do is just kind of modify the, um, I call it the arms, I guess, modify the arms of how they sit on your ears and stuff like that. Nothing about the bridge, nothing about um, the location of the lens and stuff like that. But this one company, I think they call Breeze, if I remember correctly, Breeze, oh, here it is, uh, Breezem, B-R-E-E-Z-M, this is a, a different spelling. Uh, but they are now allowing AI artificial intelligence to go ahead and map out your face and fit glasses directly to them uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and play this quick snippet of a video here real fast and then you can kind of see more about it Reason glasses celebrate diversity and individuality like no other eyewear brand has before I used to hide behind frames that were uncomfortable and didn't fit that I had to readjust all day or that didn't suit my face or my active lifestyle now, I wear Breezem glasses that use cutting-edge technology to manufacture one-of-a-kind custom frames designed to fit my specific measurements and offer features that are perfect for my life in tech, like blue light filtration. Breezem frames feel and look better than any glasses I've had before because they weren't made to be one-size-fits-all. They were made just for me. Whether you have a narrow or broad nose, prominent features, or petite face, Breezem glasses are guaranteed to fit the facial characteristics that make you unique. Getting my own completely custom Breezem frames is incredibly simple. With the Breezem iOS mobile app, I can complete a 3D scan of my face right from my phone. This highly detailed scan detects all the measurements essential for creating a perfect fitting pair of glasses, like face width, forehead height, pupillary distance, nose height and length, and even optical characteristics like pantoscopic angle. And with a wide variety of exclusive designs, all available in eight different colors, Breezem frames allow me to express myself unapologetically. My frames are then manufactured by precision industrial 3D printers using high quality FDA and safety approved PA12 materials. Breezem frames are approximately the weight of a pair of earbuds, making them up to six times lighter than the standard glasses brands. Yet they remain incredibly durable and flexible, no matter what life throws at you or at them. These frames are also eco-friendly. Ready-made glasses manufacturers mass produce their frames and can waste up to 90% of their material. But Breezem creates each pair of frames to order, leaving virtually no waste behind. 
Threesome is filling a massive gap in the eyewear industry, harnessing technological advances that improve eyewear design and function for everyone while maintaining affordability. Because everyone deserves glasses that both complement who they are and provide unparalleled comfort. Don't settle for uncomfortable cookie cutter glasses. Celebrate the future of eyewear. Celebrate your heritage. Celebrate you. Breeze. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Breezum. Breezum sounds like the only, I won't say only, <laughs> it sounds like the really, really good use for AI technology. I know a lot of people have been using AI for like silly stuff to see what hell would actually look like or something like that. You guys can keep that. <laughs> this is something here that I would actually uh, get into. The next time I need a pair of glasses, Breezum may be where I go because as it seems here, they are only $129. Um, I guess for a limited time, even $198 for custom frame glasses, that is not bad. And they're 3D printed, which in my opinion is, is the way of the future, the 3D printing house now as, as well. So um, yeah, these can be this can, these could be the next wave of, uh, of glasses in my opinion here. Just wanna know how long does it take? How long does it take to get it shipped out to you? And uh, how well does the app work or it's in beta or not? Let me see, I'm trying to see where this article came out. Um, doesn't say down there, maybe at the top. All right, so August 31st, 2022 is when this article came out here. So Breezum has probably been in around for maybe just a couple of years. Uh, and, and I like everything that they are doing so far. Their direction that they're taking uh, is definitely unique in the um, glasses eyewear space. All right, so the next thing that I have for you guys here today is going to be about Dubai. Uh, Dubai is a very, 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 very well-known uh, location for vacationers, and um, I think a lot of people in the tech space also, they, uh, they end up visiting out there. But they are now creating their next resort, and this resort, as you can see here on the screen, is going to be shaped like a moon. And I first thought it was going to be the entire thing is going to be like a whole eco world inside of, inside of there. Um, I'm actually glad to see that uh, it's not going to be just that. So it's actually going to be, I think it's like a couple thousand hotel spaces, a whole bunch of uh, outdoor. Where was it at? Uh, well, let me not jump ahead. Let me go back to the article here. So going to be worth about $5 billion. As it says, the moon building. Um, the resort is designed to be built in 48 months, which is four years. I almost said two years. <laughs> um, Four years and will have an overall height of 735 feet which is 224 meters when constructed moon dubai is expected to add to the emirates economy in sectors such as hospitality entertainment attractions education technology the environment and space and tourism uh, moon dubai will be the largest and most successful modern day tourism project within the entire mena region which i don't even know what that acronym means i gotta look that up doubling annual tourism visitations to Dubai based on its global appeal. Uh, and it can fit fit comfortably. It can comfortably accommodate 12, 10 million annual visitors. Uh, the resort's lunar surface surrounded by a lunar co colony is expected to enable 2.5 million guests annually to experience affordable space tourism on the ground in Dubai. Um, and I love this logo. This is a really unique logo here with the uh, the crescent moons double shaped like that and the absent space there. I like that. Uh, I'm actually going to play a little bit of this video. Actually, I might scrub through this video just kind of kind of see how it's being constructed. Uh, I watched it earlier, but it's about three minutes long, so I'm not going to play the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, so approximately 300 units will be available for purchase. The Sky Villa owners being members of a exclusive private members club at Moon. Uh, what is in it for visitors? Guests visiting the moon could take advantage of a spa and wellness section, a nightclub, event center, global meeting place, lounge, and an in-house moon shuttle, of which details are yet to be revealed. The next steps will be uh, planning in 2023, the Global Road Show. Uh, one such show will take place in the MENA region, potentially Dubai in the UAE with other options including KSA a lot of acronyms I gotta look some of this stuff up I'm not uh, too familiar with that side of the world moon Dubai is proposed to operate under gold lead certification that's amazing 
to get gold lead. That's that's good. Uh, a five star built, a five star built out standard, and a five diamond resort operational standard. Okay, that's what's up. Um, yes, I think that's it. That's all of that article there. Again, I'm just gonna kind of scrub through this video, and uh, you can kind of see how it's gonna be developed. I guess they have a lower disc here on a base level, then they're going to add in a middle disc, which is gonna have, was it meeting space, ballrooms, lounges, restaurants, spa wellness, spa wellness, event center floor, global meeting place, kids and teen zone, arena floor, show theater floor, and business center. That's gonna be a lot of stuff there. Uh, let's see what they have here. Lower promenade, living green wall. Wonder if you can walk down there. I'm gonna have an upper disc, which is a uh, piazza, hotel lobby, lounges, restaurant, boutiques, event center, concourse, show theater, concourse, nightclub, discovery center, arena, concourse, global meeting place, shuttle station, casino, merchandising, and business center. And uh, sorry if I'm reading too fast for you guys. Then they have an upper disc terrace, which is the beach club, lagoon, sports, multifunction areas, aquatic center, lounges, greenscape, and an amphitheater. Again, you guys can always come back to this article. I'll just drop the link uh, for it inside the description of this video and uh, watch the full video here. They have hotel suites times 2,000. So it looks like they're gonna have 2,000 hotel suites. And they're gonna have another shuttle station there. And it looks like another 2,000 hotel suites up above that. And then on top of that, they're gonna have, where is that at? Do -do -do. Another shuttle station, mechanical room and club floor. And then here comes the fun part. Here comes the Exterior moon sphere, which uh, on top of that, they're gonna have a platform as well, um, a curtain wall, fire egress mechanical. So this is gets more into the more mechanical side of things there. Um, and they have a whole bunch of dimensions and stuff. So this is gonna be interesting. This is really gonna be interesting uh, how this is all going to play out. I think, um, I wanna visit Dubai. I think Dubai has a very good um, economy that they're building out there. I'm just trying to figure out where in the world are they getting all of this space to build all this stuff because in my opinion, um, <laughs> they should have ran out of space a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, so moving on forward, next thing I have for you guys here today is going to be about the MRI or the hospitals that are conducting MRIs in a unique way for children. So this, so this was a... Uh, LinkedIn post, LinkedIn article that I came across uh, a little bit of a while ago, and when I saw it, it was about yeah about a week ago when I saw it. I guess or when it when it came out. Uh, when I saw it, I just was fascinated about everything that they're doing. Uh, I'm really really curious to know like exactly how are they making these because this is not easy to make. And I'm just gonna click on this image here. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, so you can kind of see, if you're not familiar with MRI, it's um, basically a humongous device uh, in a huge room that uh, basically takes scans and images um, of like a person's body, uh, their brain scan, all that stuff. Or I think the brain is a CAT scan. Uh, MRI just might just be like the entire body. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, any doctors out there, feel free to correct me. But yeah, so as you can see here, this one is kind of like an underwater theme. Uh, this one here is like a castle theme. I mean, they make it go all the way up to the ceiling uh, to make it more fun and inviting. Because what happens is that this big device here, uh, the children or the person lays down on to this bed and then they start to be rolled inside of it. And I mean, it's a scary experience. So you're not allowed to have uh, any parents in there with you, if I'm understanding correctly. Uh, so there's no, you know, nobody holding your hand and, and they want to make it a little bit more inviting for the children. Uh, this looks like a treehouse theme. They got a, a fox, an owl, and a raccoon up there. That's an interesting selection of animals. And then I actually clicked on the link and went to the article. Um, I guess this one was from the University of Michigan, where they had that uh, MRI machine there. And I was like, huh, I wonder if this is being done anywhere else. So I started to research it. And lo and behold, as I mentioned, once you start getting into research and you start finding things, uh, you will never ever stop. This article came out in, this article came out in April the 27th of 2018. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the images, not gonna read too much about it, but here's another castle theme, uh, or princess theme, sorry, prince or princess theme, 
uh, MRI machine. Here is another Castle one in Yale New Haven Children's Hospital. Uh, here is a pirate theme. This one looks really, really good. They even get the whole bed and everything with that. Um, okay, so see how GE, so GE is the one that's creating it. Nice, nice. And I guess they have another one here. I'm not going to play this video. You guys can go back through uh, this article and, and check it out. Here is a mini one. <laughs> not a cat scan, a kitten scan. Wow. So here's a mini one for children to kind of play with and get comfortable with as well. Uh, here's a space theme one where they actually incorporated the whole entire room. Uh, here's another space theme, which is just the rocket itself. Uh, MRI feels like home. I don't know whose home looks like that, but that's a really unique home. And this is an elephant. So they just, that's a, what? So, <laughs> all right, so they put the whole humongous elephant on the top of there. I thought this top one up here was the was a zebra. That's a, that looks kind of weird. Um, Lego, oh, this is a Lego MRI. So is it Lego theme or just a, a mini Lego? I guess, I guess they let the children maybe play with Legos while they're waiting for themselves. Um, yeah, so that is that there. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful way to kind of get, you know, children, um, I don't want to say acclimated. Hopefully you don't have to keep getting MRIs or whatever, but at least get them feeling comfortable with it. Uh, make sure that, you know, when they go into the space, um, they trust the person that is working on them. Um, the doctors and everything, nurses and all that stuff is, is definitely a scary time when you have to go to the hospital and um, be there especially for a few days even and, and get a lot of stuff uh, done to you um, children in my opinion <laughs> should be exempt from having to get sick and stuff like that um, but hey I mean things happen all right so next thing that I have for you guys uh, or mainly like I said the VTubers or anybody who has been <clears throat> looking to get into VTubing uh, and if you don't know what VTubing is, it's just basically if you're doing live streams on YouTube, essentially, even possibly Twitch. Um, but a lot of people are getting away from using their personal selves. They're not comfortable putting themselves out on front of the camera. And then they go, go ahead and use an avatar. Well, this one company called Animo, they are now allowing you to use a customized um, avatar for it. So and it can one platform for all of your VTubing passions. So essentially... You can go ahead and use it for any stream based thing that you're doing. Uh, it's completely free and um, they have a bunch of different. Where is that at? Okay, here it is. Yeah, the possibilities are virtually limitless thanks to a wide assortment of simple to use uh, features, a vast library of imagery or real life avatars, animations, props, backdrop scenes, and so much more. Uh, so, as I was saying, they have a bunch of different. Um, assets to choose from so you can kind of make this more like yourself so for example for me if I <laughs> if I make my VTuber I would actually add glasses to it just because I wear glasses even though I don't wear them all the time and as you can see here on the ear it actually has um, hearing aid so that, I mean they they don't they don't just stop at you know making a VTuber uh, or making the avatars look one way they actually add in a whole bunch of other stuff as well uh, for you to make it more real because uh, again, the VTuber is supposed to be just a depiction of yourself and uh, who you are and stuff like that. So, um, lights, camera, action, set up gorgeous live rooms and scenarios while live streaming, video chatting and recording videos with amazing 2D and 3D avatars. Uh, it's integrated with Ready Player Me. This is probably where I actually ran into it at. Uh, I'm really big on Ready Player Me avatars and now they have uh, the integration with Animo. And then uh, they have use cases here for talk shows, news, uh, review channels, and so much more. Uh, I might, I don't know, I might sometimes do this show with a VTuber. We'll see. I'll, see, I'll play around with them. Uh, kids content and live avatar experience. The possibilities are endless. And I have a couple of FAQs, and that's about it. Um, so, yeah, and then also if you want to watch the video, you can. I'm not going to play it here. I think it's a kind of a long video. Uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and play it there, but again, if you are a VTuber or if you've just been thinking about VTubing uh, and haven't found the best way to go about doing it, this may be the, uh, the best way to kind of jump into it there. 
And so the last thing I have for you guys here is a company. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's a company, but a person named, I think her name is Zara. And I actually found her on Twitter. And she has came out with what they call the Crypto Hair Magazine. And the Crypto Hair Magazine is a collectible monthly magazine cover, which is a mock-up dedicated to uplifting black people in Web3 and preserving the history and nostalgia of printed black hair magazines. Each cover features the beautiful portraits of black and brown women who are making waves into the crypto space. Amazing. This is just simply, simply amazing. Uh, their mission is to record the beauty of black hair onto the blockchain and preserve the creative legacy of black and brown people throughout the diaspora. Um, why is Crypto Hair Magazine important? I already know why, but you guys can kind of read through this um, yourselves here. Uh, but the main reason because of all about representation. Uh, there are not a lot of, and I can attest to this, there are not a lot of women first of all inside of the technical space let alone cryptocurrency let alone web3 and all that stuff and then there's definitely not a lot of black women as well that kind of get into it um and you know uh, their hair is like one of the most prominent things that stands out about them uh they have it done in uh, such luxurious and lavish ways as can be seen by the cover art. So, and these are actually real people. These are not avatars or anything like that. Uh, these are black women who are actually getting their hair done like this uh, and representing for the community. Uh, so this looks like the uh, July, oh yeah. So this is the July 2022 issue here. I guess the main person on the cover not exactly sure if they put her name on there or not. Maybe it's Zara, Zara Protective Styling. Not sure, but this, yeah. Okay, so, and this is issue number five. So July was issue number five, so I guess they what started in February. Um, yeah, so June is issue number four, and she has bluish greenish hair, looks like, and I don't know her name either. I think when I saw on the Twitter, and I'm going to jump over to the Twitter as well. I, I believe they had the name set up on there, um, pretty much shining some light on all of these uh, women who are posing for the cover art there. Um, here is the, what's this, May, May 2022 issue. And then this is probably my favorite one. This is the best one, I think. Just kind of looking at it and, and thinking back about Dubai, this looks like <laughs> this looks like how Dubai got inspired by their moon. Um <laughs> by their moon resort here uh this is an april issue and then they have the march issue here so you guys can see and uh these are all nfts guys i don't, I don't know if you've been paying attention but these are actually going for uh point i think the other ones like 0 0.02 eth these are 0 0.05 eth again this is a crypto hair magazine so i mean it's only right that they actually turn these into nfts and sell them on the open sea market um i think i've yeah, I did go to the OpenSea Marketplace and check it out as well. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and jump over here to the Twitter, just in case you guys want to follow them on Twitter. It is at CryptoHairMag. And uh, again, it's a monthly mag cover mock-up collectible dedicated to uplifting women of color in Web3 and preserving the history and nostalgia of printed black hair mags. Uh, and the creator, of course, is Zara Charm. You definitely have to go in and tap in with her as well. Her... Uh, name on Twitter is ZaraCharm.eth and uh, I think it was yeah so they actually actually like you know shine light on the person who is uh, modeling stuff like that as well this is Tiana uh, and so on and so forth so you guys uh, definitely check in on that there and if you're interested in it uh, if not definitely do share it with somebody who you think would be interested in it like I said there's not a lot of uh, women especially women of color inside of the crypto space uh inside of this whole technological space that we live in um and they definitely need to start stepping in uh because i can see from their hair they are very creative and uh they can come up with unique designs and styles and stuff like that uh and representation is everything so i would like to see them actually get attached to uh animo so that animo knows like okay hey we can't just put you know regular style hair on our avatars we gotta we gotta dial it up a bit 
All right, so that is it that I have for you guys here today. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys t tuning in with me. Um, and it's actually Spectacular Saturdays. I think I forgot to mention it. Uh, Spectacular Saturdays is, you know, me just sharing uh, one cool, spectacular thing that's been going on in our digital world. And that spectacular thing was the MRIs and the children and stuff like that. I think that was simply, simply amazing. And then um, uh, definitely let me know what you guys think about uh, all the art other articles that I touched on here today. Um, all, the description, all of the links to the description will be inside of... All of the links to the articles will be inside the description of this video. All of my social media handles as well will be inside the description uh, for this video. So definitely to tap in with me. And um, I think that is all I have for you guys here today. I am off on Sundays. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of cool digital stuff. And then I will see you guys again on Monday.